G'day, Madden community. I am Trumpa Monkey, and with the help of our regular stream viewers, everybody on Twitter, and the wider community, this video is all about teaching people how to speak mutt, okay? This is all the muttisms that you're gonna find. I watched a video like this for 2K, and it was awesome. And I said, we gotta make one for mutt. If you're enjoying the content, please take a second, hit the sub button, boop, 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 enjoy. Hopefully this video helps you understand what the hell is going on when people are maybe capping at you or, or just talking in stream and, and the community in general. So let's jump into it. We got 40, 40 muttisms for you, and then a 41, which I'm hoping will take off, but you gotta wait till the very end of the video to see what that is oh what a hook all right let's jump into it starting right here with dot or hot dot basically this is a really really tight normally a bullet pass it can be a lob pass but a really good pass of the ball into perfectly timed into a normally a really tight window okay an absolute tight window maybe with a defender nearby and your wide receiver catches it and you have just thrown a dot or a hot dot, okay? Sometimes spelled H-A-W-T, hot, and then D-A-W-T, hot dot. That's exactly what a hot dot is. It's a really well-timed, well-placed throw, normally for a touchdown as well, okay? Very, very similar to that laser beam. You might see this on, the, on their own. Laser, exactly the same thing. Like a really good pass, just throwing lasers. Or you might see beam. He's out here beaming, throwing beams. Or you might see them together, laser beam. Some of these I'm going to double together like this just because they're easier, more easily explained when they're together. Only two in and I already need a sip here. Go Raiders! All right, so you've got hot, you've got dot and hot dot. You've got laser beam. Let's say you're playing really well on defense, okay? And you're absolutely demolishing your opponent. Or it's happening to you, which is the case with me. They might say you're getting boxed or you're getting bagged, okay? Either way, it's to do with basically death. You're either getting put in the coffin, okay? Or you're getting put in the body bag. Boxed or bagged, you can hear them uh, uh, in many different variations of that as well. But boxed or bag are the two core words. Uh, when somebody's defensive play calls are just destroying you or you're destroying them. Scheme. Scheme is literally all about the, the playbook, the plays, and the adjustments that you decide to make uh, uh, pre-snap um, and sometimes even post-snap, okay, what you do uh, with your defenders and, and where you throw the ball uh, when you're on offense as well. And that is known as your scheme. And you might hear people say scheme over team, which means that even if you have the best players in the game, the best cards, you're spending $1,000 a week on bundles. You come up against a player who knows what they're doing, okay, who knows the next one as well. We're going to show you a really good scheme will beat a really good team most of the time so scheme so when someone says what's your scheme normally they mean like what playbook are you running what plays in that playbook what pre-snap adjustments uh post snap what are you doing as well in those plays both offensively and defensively meta okay the meta is literally the schemes that that the majority of the uh the community are running at any one given time Okay, and metas can change throughout Madden as like game chain, game tuning comes into it as well. But you hear someone say, oh, what, like what meta, what's the meta right now? You know, you know, or maybe it's stretch, maybe it's dive, crossers, you know, these types of things. What, what literally when someone says, what is the meta? It's what is everybody running right now? What scheme is everybody running? What playbook are they using? What plays? And uh, that's what the meta is. So now, now you understand, okay? A toter! We love our toters. Okay, I was a toter back before it was cool. A toter is someone that runs the ball just about 90, like 100% of the time. 99% of the time. Literally a run-heavy player. So they don't, they don't throw the ball at all. They actually uh, run the ball every single down. Now, different, different uh, years of Madden, running is a lot easier than others. So a toter is somebody who totes the ball, who runs the ball a lot. Nano, otherwise known as a nano blitz. Mm. Oh, yeah, it tastes like 146. Sorry, little in joke right there. A nano blitz is basically a blitz where pre snap you make adjustments to your defense that takes advantage of bad AI. Um, I don't want to say bad coding because it sounds like I'm throwing shade, but basically it, it, it 
takes advantage of an exploit, which normally means that your defenders get straight to the quarterback within like half a second. A nano blitz, okay? Uh, not to be confused with kind of instant uh, block sheds, which we'll talk about later, but a nano blitz literally is a pre, you're gonna, you're gonna see your opponent making adjustments pre-snap, moving his defenders around, and then as soon as you snap the ball, boom, your guy gets sacked, your QB gets sacked. That's a nano blitz, okay? So, run dot, the opposite of, the opposite of a, uh, the opposite of a pass dot, uh, or a hot dot, is a run dot. And, and sometimes can be said like, uh, sometimes can be said uh, uh, sarcastically, I guess. Um, but also sometimes like a run play, which is really, really good. Um, people might say, oh, run dot, okay? Because sometimes like running does take skill. Not all the time, but sometimes. So a run dot is a run play uh, that works really well. Also it can be sarcastic. Sticky. Sticky. Okay, so what does sticky mean? Sticky is when a player uh, displays really, really good skills on the sticks when they have uh, the, ball, the ball carrier and they're controlling the ball carrier. Ordinarily, it's with a running back, okay? That's why it came straight off the run dot. You might you might say, oh, someone's sticky. They might have like a nice stop and go or a move that breaks the opponent's ankles and, or, or just like showing really good control uh, when they have the ball in their player's hands. Can be a wide receiver. Can also be after you get an interception on defense and you're returning uh, a pick six, which is pretty cool as well. So that's what sticky means. Tied to that maybe as well is a lurk. Okay, so a lurk is normally when you have like a user controlled defender who gets an interception. Now, it, it used to be a lot easier. You used to be able to run around the field holding down the Y button, but now you have to actually time it. Very difficult for European and Australian players. Now you got to time the lurk to perfection, okay? Uh, so, you know, when you get a user lurk, it's something to be celebrated as well. It requires timing, it requires good positioning. But uh, when, you, when you hear someone say lurk or user lurk, that's what they're talking about. GMM is an acronym for good morning madden my god we're we're quarter of the way in this is gonna be a long video i love it good morning madden is a show that is on mondays to fridays 10 30 uh eastern usa time and is literally uh from at the moment or from their homes but normally from the studios where they make the game uh and and you can get uh you can get like packs for watching that known as drops we'll get to that a little bit later uh, but they also do giveaways it's where they give like the daily news so good morning matt and gmm everybody needs to know that ebook an ebook is uh basically uh you know we spoke about those nano blitzes we spoke about those schemes uh there are websites and there are pro players who create ebooks there are streamers who do this they create a, a set of uh plays with instructions and pictures on how to set up those plays uh for your scheme um, and they sell them or they give them away for free in the form of literally an ebook. So that's what an ebook is. Spam, this is, or a spammer. This is when a player um, maybe just spams the same play over and over, either defensively or on offense, okay? And I always say to this, like, so some of these are like sarcastic and negative, but I always say to this, it's not your job to pick plays that your opponent can stop. So if someone is spamming the same play against you and you can't stop it, and if that's the meta, you have to get good. You have to literally learn how to stop that or they're just gonna do it to you. So that's what's gonna happen. Spammers spamming the same play. A bot or a clone is somebody who plays, uh, uses the exact same scheme as a well-known uh, pro player or content creator or Madden streamer. So you might see a lot of thrown clones out there. That is the expression that gets used a lot. Um, so literally like a dubby bot. Um, uh, and, and so people who are like running the exact same, uh, the exact same scheme as like these content creators. And sometimes in weekend league, you might come up against or competitive games, you might come up against uh, dudes over and over and over again who are bots and clones of each other and of these players as well. So it's a slightly negative one, but hey, you know, um, you know, imitation is the ultimate form of flattery. RNG or RNGesus, random number generator. Madden is in a, like in, in its essence is a, a dice roll game where like you can argue that maybe some outcomes are predetermined, but basically if you've got two, you got a 99 wide receiver and a 99 cornerback, and the ball is thrown up and it's a 50-50 ball. It's just lobbed into these two players. And both players click on and time their buttons 
to perfection. It's either going to be a catch for the wide receiver, an interception for the defender, or an incompletion. It's going to be one of the three. And there is obviously random number generator and dice rolled used to determine that outcome. Now, it can get really frustrating because sometimes outcomes happen that shouldn't happen. And you're sitting there going, damn, you are in Jesus. That's exactly what that means. Hence the expressions, and you might hear these ones that are negative. You got bailed or I got bailed. DDA'd or DDA or EA'd. Now, what that means is that um, somebody is basically getting a lot of random number generator in their favor across a lot of dice roll, a lot of random luck in their favor across the course of a game. If that happens, you're going to have an opponent say, you got bailed or you got DDA'd or you got EA. Now, DDA'd is also connected to uh, uh, tinfoil hat theory. I'm not even going to get into that in this video that uh, basically the more the more packs you buy or the less packs you buy, um, the more random uh, the bailing is and the more uh, random the RNG is. So uh, that's what that could be. And other people just call it like to slam EA. Sorry, EA, it's true. It's out there. I didn't invent it. I love the guys in EA. But they call it, they call it getting EA'd. So that's what all of that means. Theme team. Obviously, theme teams in Madden Ultimate Team in Mutt are huge. Theme team, and you might hear people say I'm running a, a 50 or a 25-25 theme team. It means they're combining a couple of theme teams. Basically, 50 theme team is when you have 50 players with the same team chem on one team. That's this year because it gives a stat booth, uh, boost. 25 means you're getting like good stat boosts as well, but some people go 25 of one team, 25 of another. So that's what theme team means. DC'd, disconnected, just as you would expect, okay? But shout out to Digital Champion, good guy. Awesome dude. Um, but DC'd, uh, there are DC glitches in the game as well where you can intentionally uh, disconnect and hope that you get the win. Don't do that. You're a scumbag if you do that and you're gonna get banned. Um, and so DC'd means, oh, I got disconnected. A lot of a lot of server issues at times mean that you get disconnected just randomly. No one's cheating or anything, and you get the loss, or you fail a solo battle or fail a solo. Really irritating. That's what DC'd mean. Must. Now, must is exactly, uh, it's an age-old uh, Maddenism and muttism. It normally mean, it basically just means you do a massive spectacular catch over your opponent. Quite often with Randy Moss, but obviously like an Odell Beckham Jr. style one hand catch, but it can be anybody mossing anybody out there, okay? It normally means it can be a defender mossing a, a, an offensive player. Literally, it just means making a crazy cool catch over your opponent. Glitchy is just an expression that you're gonna hear like, oh, that play's glitchy, this player is glitchy, that ability on a player is glitchy. That's all that means, it means good, okay? Normally, it's like a positive thing, uh, not to be like confused with like a glitch blitz or a nano blitz. It normally just is a positive thing. You say, oh, he's glitchy. A player could even be glitchy, like a human player. Oh, he's glitchy. Screaming or heaters. So basically, this is when you have a, a blitz, maybe not a nano blitz, but a good blitz that you set up pre-snap and then it brings in the heat or it screams at your opponent. It gives him only like a, a second or two to throw the ball. They call that a screamer, a screaming, uh, a heater, or bringing the heat, or screaming. Scream at your opponent. That's what that means. NMS is no money spent. There's also some funny ones. There's also like uh, like some money spent, SMS, all right? And then am money spent, AMS. And there's variations of that. But NMS is the main one. It means no money spent. It means players who don't spend any money in the game and just build their team through grinding. NMS, because uh, you know, might can be an expensive habit. Threshold is all to do with in-game player ratings. So uh, for example, uh, give a good example from a few years back. If, if a player got 91 zone coverage on defense, they broke on the ball even before the quarterback was finished with his throwing motion. The ball wasn't even out of his hand. It's like here, and the defender is breaking on the ball. It's because he met the zone threshold. So basically there are different statistical thresholds that they change every year that are important. So if a player has 90, 90 zone or 91 zone or 99 uh, uh, kind of spectacular catch, he'll get glitchy catching animations, this type of thing. That's what threshold means. A demon, we'll get into the fun ones now. A demon is a really good player. When you're playing a dude, he knows he knows the meta. He, he knows the most popular schemes. 
He might also be a bot or a clone. He's a good player who knows what works well, and you are in for a really tough game against someone. And uh, that's what happens when you're playing against demons. Cheese is, uh, this is a really tough one to define. So cheese is also known, I could add, this should add this like right off to the meta. There are certain uh, plays that people spam over and over, you've heard that term as well, that like are the meta that are really, really known as just cheesy plays, okay? And if people use the same place too many times, you might hear, stop cheesing me, you cheeser. What's with this cheese? It's kind of just a variation really of like spamming and meta and plays that work. Good and blind read. Now these can literally be like blind is obviously like literally like you're like a blind person throwing the football. You're not making a good read offensively and you're throwing it into defenders, okay? A good read is the opposite of that, but can also be sarcastic. You might have someone, you might throw an interception and someone trolling you sends you a message saying, good read. But good read normally means you read well and you did throw the man open. You can normally tell when somebody is being sincere or trolling you. But obviously uh, throwing Stevie's Stevie Wonder is another example of that, the blind reads. A sweaty or a sweat fest is when you are playing a demon. It's when you're in a really massive struggle of a game, playing a really, really tough opponent, and you literally start to get sweat under your arms. The first time we made, uh, first time we made top 100 in weekend league in Europe with a 1,000 ping a couple of years ago, I sent a picture of my underarms on Twitter. I was wearing a literally a, a, a hoodie, and it had sweated all the way through. You literally sweat, but also like kind of, uh, maybe some players never sweat and they're very chill, but you're in a sweaty game, a sweat fest against a good player. Drops, not dropped catches or dropped balls or dropped interceptions. Literally drops for watching streams, a lot like a lot of other games on Twitch. If you watch Good Morning Madden or you watch any of the Madden live streams and you have your EA and your Twitch account linked, you get in-game drops, you get packs. Sometimes they're really bad, sometimes they're really good. Most of the time, they're just middle of the road. They're just some free cards, a, a couple of thousand coins for you. Um, but drops, that's literally, and you might just see people spamming the word drops because they have to type something into chat. They don't want to say hello. They don't want to be nice. They just write the word drops. Dump truck are the huge giveaways where they combine all of the giveaways together on EA streams and give them away. It can happen on Good Morning Madden, can happen on special like uh, streams from Madden. Uh, it can also happen on Madden live streams as well where community members are streaming. That's what a dump truck is. If you hear someone say, dump truck me daddy, that's what they mean. All right, swerve is when you click onto your player. Uh, more often than not, a, a wide receiver you throw in the ball, you click on them, you take control of the wide receiver and move him around to try and make a catch. Now, swerve catching worked a lot better in previous Maddens. It doesn't work so well anymore. Um, but now it actually takes more skill than anything else because normally the defender is clicked on as well. They're trying to swerve with their defender so to get a click on interception. So that's what swerving is. That's what swerve means. Cheat me is something we're seeing in chat a lot, both both uh, sarcastically and legitimately. Let's say you feel like you should have had an interception or you feel like you should have had a touchdown. People are typing, cheat me. They're typing cheat me into chat. Um, but also people are using it sarcastically as well. They're like, they know that they should have thrown a pick and they're like, oh, I got cheated. Or they know it was a 50-50 ball that could have been a pick or a touchdown. And they're like, cheat me. So that's what that means. We're seeing that a lot more. The kids love that one. Gap. Not the A or the B gap on the D line. Get a player pack. It's the get a player pack and it's known as the gap method where you just buy a whole bunch of these packs for super cheap and you end up making a profit because of the uh, odds being in your favor. So the gap, the gap pack method, for example, is a great way to make coins. It means get a player pack. Uh, there's all types of YouTube videos on my channel even all about that. A bundle is an in-store bundle. We're nearly done. An in-store bundle uh, for real money that people use their credit card and they might say the, the best card in Mutt Madden Ultimate Team is the credit card. That's what a bundle is. It's like a store offer that you go and buy in-game. NAT, this is important. Non-auctionable or tradable. It means you can't sell on the auction hall or trade a particular card. And it came in about three years ago Cards starting to be NAT or NAT and uh, really irritated the community at first. Now we're just used to it. And, and that card can't be sold in the auction hole, can't be traded to a farm account or your friends. 
and uh, also quick sells for a lower value than normal cards as well. So that's what a Nat card is. Unless it was one in a giveaway, it has a lower quick sell value as well. That's what Nat means. Pop! Power up pass. Power up pass. Basically, you can power up certain cards in the game as long as they have a power up card. And uh, uh, power up pass is um, literally allows you to skip certain cards in that sequence. So, for example, you're trying to power up uh, Khalil Mack. Well, you know, you get his power up cards, you spend a uh, training point, which we're about to talk about. And then you get to his 87 overall caller elite. If you have an 87, 88 power up pass, you can throw that in. Um, so yeah, also might just mean power up as well. You might hear people say, oh, pop him, you know, power up. The power up pass as well is the acronym TP, training point. You need them to power up players. That's it. TP, most cards quick sell for a training point value as well. It's like an additional currency that you use to power up cards in Mutt. So there you go, TP, not, not toilet paper. Snipe is when you're on the auction hall and you see a card that you know is worth a lot and you buy it for a lot less because someone made a mental error and put it up there. So, or, or the market is crashing on a particular day because maybe a promo came out. So like you're sitting there sniping cards. That's what snipe means. Instashed is one I wanted to include and I like the suggestion. Instashed uh, literally is when your uh, defensive players immediately break a block and sack the quarterback or or, or make like a, a run stopping play now it's not to do with nano blitzing it's pure random number generator or statistics based as well or maybe ability based but basically your defender immediately loses his blocker and makes a play insta shed all right user so we spoke about lurking earlier what a lurk was when you're uh, uh usering a defender it's like, oh, who's my user? Sometimes there's a D-line user. People like to, to pass rush the ball. Most people like to user a safety these days. It used to be a linebacker. Um, but basically, um, usering on defense requires a little bit more skill in coverage plays, um, but allows you to make big plays as well. User lurks like change games, right? Um, so that's what usering is. Uh, that's what who your user is. Now, the method or the loophole. So you might see people come into chat and go, what's the method right now? Oh, what's this coin making method? Basically, it means like how are they making coins? Or oh, is there a loophole? A loophole is when maybe um, EA might have made a mistake with a particular combination of sets and their values, so that there is a loophole where you can make more coins back. You can you can spend some coins to make a lot more coins. So when you hear someone say, "Okay, what's the best coin making? What's the method today?" You know, what's the best coin making method is basically what they're saying. Or is there a loophole? What's the loophole with that? That's it, guys. And then the final one, fetch. No matter how hard I try, it just won't take off. Sorry, guys. I had to have a Mean Girls joke in there. This idiot. This idiot. This guy has to make Mean Girls jokes. All right. Fetch isn't real, by the way, just in case you didn't get the Mean Girls joke. Old school movie. Lads, those are all the mutisms. What did you think? I liked it, man. 23 minute video, but now you can speak mutt. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Hit the sub button. That was that was so fetch. Talk to you soon, mates. Hype. There it is.